And Americans on both sides of the aisle today reacting to those results after waking up to the news that Donald Trump will be the next president of the United States. Many Trump supporters in Rhode Island are celebrating that win, while those who are hoping to see Harris in office are expressing disappointment, unsure of what's in store for the future. Our Sheena Loshuto is live in Warwick, where right now there's a rally happening, Sheena? That's right, Kim Kayla. The Trump store here in Warwick is right behind me, so you'll see a lot of supporters out there. We've seen similar rallies like this over the last couple of months, but today Trump supporters are celebrating a win. Rhode Island Republicans rejoicing. 45-47. Already on hats as Donald Trump supporters celebrate his win on Post Road. That was the biggest thing, was trying to get everybody out to vote, and I think it worked. While Donald Trump did not win the popular vote in the Ocean State, he's had loyal advocates. And it says, Trump won. I said, what? I turned around and said, holy smokes. With Trump in the White House, this 71-year-old North Smithfield man says he hopes to live a more affordable life. Prices, the gas, the electric, the, the economy, it's going to be beautiful again, I'm telling you. And he has faith that will happen, so he wants everyone to know it. He's going to make America great again. Give him a chance. You're all going to give him a chance, you know what I mean? A stark difference from some voters we spoke to in Providence. Many were hoping to see a woman in the Oval Office for the first time in the nation's history. And I just think that as a country, we objectively made the wrong choice. I respect the Democratic role that this election uh, played. I respect the results of the election. With that said, I don't agree with them. Um, main concern is probably uh, women's rights and uh, the mass deportation that's promised uh, with Trump being elected. So yeah, those two issues are weighing heavy right now for me. Now, it has been loud over here in Warwick. While my story was airing, we heard those horns honking really the entire time. You can probably hear it right now, too. Now, earlier, we went inside of the New England for Trump store. The owner there tells us it has been a very busy day. Some things like hats quickly selling out. Reporting live in Warwick tonight, I'm Sheena Loshudo, 12 News.